How do easy pass tolls and violations arise for New York City fleet owners? Whether you are a small or large fleet owner in New York, your company will likely deal with easy pass toll administration. The most widely used tolls in New York City are owned and administered by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, MTA Bridges and Tunnels, and the New Jersey Turnpike Authority. This video will focus on Port Authority and MTA Easy Pass Management. Toll violations arise from a lessee, the person your company is renting a vehicle to, not paying their tolls when they cross bridges, tunnels, and other crossings. This is sometimes accidental, but can unfortunately be done on purpose as well. Given most tolls are now cashless, this issue is becoming more common. It's very important that New York fleet owners deal with unpaid tolls as soon as possible. Violation fees are often a multiple of the toll itself. If you don't deal with the necessary unpaid toll administration in a timely manner, usually within one to two months, then you may ultimately be liable for the full balance, including violation fees. How to transfer easy pass tolls and violations to your lessee. Firstly, you need to ensure that you and your lessee have a signed contract, which at minimum lays out the following. You and or your company's name. Start date of contract. Name and address of lessee. License plate number of leased vehicle. You should also have a copy of the lessee's driver's license. When you receive a toll violation letter from either MTA Bridges and Tunnels or the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, it will come in a bright orange envelope. After you open it, you will see the following. In the top right-hand corner, if payment is received before the due date, there aren't any additional fees. But if payment is received after the due date, you will see the total now includes an additional fee. <coughs> Next in the violation transaction table, you will see some key information such as the unique violation number, an easy pass tag number if applicable, license plate, facility and lane location date and time of the toll violation, and the breakdown of the balance and payments owed. At the bottom of the front page, the box featured in the top right-hand corner is shown again, and it provides you with a payment slip for the amount outstanding. Given this video is about transferring the responsibility of tolls to your lessee, this will not be applicable. Flipping over the double-sided notice, here you will see various options presented. We can skip right to section B, rental. Note, the backside of toll violation letters from the MTA is different from the Port Authority. For the MTA, check other and write rental leasing company within the box. In section B, it says a rental car or leasing company must provide the following signed copy of the lease agreement and the details of the renter lessee. Fill out this section based on the lessee's driver's license and also make sure to have a copy of the signed rental agreement and a copy of the lessee's driver's license. Once you fill out section B, you go to the bottom and complete the certification where you sign and date. Remember if you are a corporation be sure to put your title next to your name and name of corporation. Finally, it gives you the address to send out the completed notice and documentation, including a copy of the contract and lessee's driver's license. The notice also has a fax number, which we believe is the ideal way to ensure and prove a transfer of responsibility was done. We highly recommend using the service HelloFax, which electronically confirms a fax was successfully received. We will go over on how to send a fax using the HelloFax web service. 
Firstly, you will need to create an account if you don't already have one. And make sure to go over their plan options first to see exactly what will suit your needs. After logging in, you'll want to make sure you're in the Send a Fax tab. From here, we will click on the Send a Fax window. This page is where we will upload all necessary documents. For this example, we will be dragging and dropping right from our desktop. The three documents we are uploading are the Easy Pass Violation Scan, the Signed Leasing Agreement, and the lessee's copy of their driver's license. The upload process may take several seconds. When completed, you will not have to hit the Fill and Sign button as long as your signature is already on the EasyPass violation and leasing agreement. So we will continue by hitting the Next button. This is where we will enter the fax number of the Violations Processing Center. Double check that the phone number is correct and hit Send Document. For this example, HelloFax will be charging us 99 cents to fax all three documents. So according to the HelloFax plan that you have, there may be charges. Like we said previously, we do recommend faxing over these documents due to the electronic confirmation of all received faxes. You can hit continue and proceed with the payment or decline it. If you continue, on the next page will be confirmation of your sent document. Also be sure to check your email for confirmation of the sent fax document. If you do decide to send to the mailing address, ensure that it is sent certified and save the receipt. Next, we tweak the directions for those with larger fleets or who are dealing with multiple violation notices across several drivers and cars. Directions for larger fleets and multiple transfer of responsibility letters. If you have a larger fleet, or have to deal with several violation notices, EasyPass will usually group your violations by entity. For example, if you own three cars under TLC Rental LLC, then those three cars are usually grouped in one account automatically. Go to EasyPass New York's website. Let's click Violations in the top right-hand corner. Enter a violation number and associated vehicle license plate or each corporation in your fleet. If you own your cars in one business entity, then you will only need one violation number and associated plate number. We recommend dealing with one plate and one driver at a time. After you enter this information, hit search. At the bottom, hit the here. In click here to view the violation listing in a printer-friendly format. A new window will open up clearly laying all the violations at once. Then focusing on one plate let's copy screenshots of the relevant violations into a Word document. Now using the same Word document write a brief one-page cover letter inserting the company or owner's information in the top header. Ideally, you will create a template, which we include below, that makes this process more seamless. In the letter, you simply summarize the details of the transfer of responsibility. On another page, also copy and paste the lessee's driver's license. So now, we have a three-page Word document that neatly summarizes all the details of the transfer of responsibility without you having to fill out and sign multiple letters. Once we have this, we also include the relevant driver contract. Now we can either mail or fax to the Violations Processing Center. Again, we highly recommend faxing over the documents using HelloFax as it electronically records successful receipts. This concludes our tutorial on EasyPass Violation Management for New York City fleet owners. Please reach out if you have any further questions. Thank you.